the fifth race. First division of the 11th annual in 1998 Nassagoya Stakes. And they're off and pacing. Watching Barnett Hanover, he's not leaving hard just yet. Coming out to his inside is Bayside Hall to a short lead, and Bolero Master is out of there. Well, now on the outside, Barnett Hanover goes on with Ombro Sonic. Then tight to the inside, Vito Corleone, and Sue Don followed through. In a tight spot in between the leaders is Dakari Taylor as they charge up into the first turn. Fourth from last was Bud for Life. Ahead of Island Fantasy, Log Taxton. Ombro Sussex is 11th and last away. Valero Master, the leader. Bayside Hall is second. Sue Don. Through to be in third. Vito Corleone is fourth. The opening split was 26 and four. Bolero Master leading. Bayside Hall along in second. Sue Don is third. Here comes Ombro Sonic to the outside. Fourth at the flank of Vito Corleone from fifth. Moving sixth on the outside. Flushing cover of Sue Don. There goes Barnett Hanover. Log text at the inside is seventh. Dakari Taylor is eighth on the outside. Ombro Sussex is ninth. Moving tenth on the outside. Bud for life and Island Fantasy trailed. Sue Don ranging up on the outside with Bolero Master. They went the half in 55 and three. Bayside Hall right there in the pocket and Barnett Hanover is joining the leaders on the outside. Fourth Ombro Sonic now back in fifth. Vito Corleone is sixth. Dakari Taylor seventh on the outside. Log text is hemmed in from eighth. Bud for life is ninth on the outside. Island Fantasy he starts three wide out of the final turn. Ombro Sussex was trailing. Top of the stretch, Bolero Master still the leader. Sue Dawn could not get by. Barnett Hanover rolling wide. Island Fantasy was 11th going into the far turn, sweeping up on the far outside. They passed three quarters in 124 and one into the final eighth. Barnett Hanover coming past to a short lead. Island Fantasy is still coming though. Island Fantasy with Barnett Hanover to the end. Island Fantasy was 11th and last on the way to the half but he's first to the wire. Island Fantasy got past them all to win it for Condren over Barnett Hanover and Bayside Hall in 152 and four. Island Fantasy with a dramatic sweep of the field to win the first Nassagaway Stakes Division. Eight Island Fantasy. The winner of the first 1998 division of the Nassagoya Stakes, life signed two year old Bay Colt from Three Mile Island, owned by Robert Waxman of Ancaster, trained by Bob McIntosh, and driven to victory 11th to first by Steve Condren. It's his fourth win in 10 starts this year and a lifetime best of 152 and 4. Island Fantasy in the fifth. Helping us out with the winner's enclosure presentation. Nassagoya Councillor Barry Lee. We're down in the Mohawk Winner's Circle with winning driver Steve Conrad scoring the first division victory aboard Island Fantasy. Steve, when you put 11 horses on the track, you're bound to get a lot of, lot of traffic out there, and that's exactly what uh, you and your Colt did encounter tonight. Yeah, he's not a, a great lever, and I left as, about as much as he could, and he was going to get away real bad. And the two horses behind me, there was a lot of bumping going on the first turn. They all slid up the inside and uh, looked pretty grim uh, just past the quarter pole. Uh, this colt really has been rounding into top form in recent weeks. Big effort in the Metro final. Uh, good effort last week in the uh, Champlain. This colt peaking here late season. Yeah, he's, uh, you know, Bob's done a tremendous job with him. Uh, the last few starts, he's just been kind of awesome. And... Uh, and, uh, you know, all accolades to the racetrack. Uh, I mean, I don't think there's another track in North America where you can make a move like that and gain ground on horses and going, especially going that speed. Colt finished strong here. You came from way off the pace. Uh, Jack Moiseev and Barnett Hanover, he had a pretty good second over trip, but uh, your Colt outpaced him in the lane. You have to be pleased with his effort tonight. Yeah, he's uh, getting stronger and uh, just seems to be, you know, going into the fall in real good shape. Okay, Steve Condren, the man who's got the nose for big money races. He and Bob McIntosh take another as uh, Canada's winningest driver. Top money winner gets richer here tonight. 13 minutes now to the upcoming sixth race. Way to go, Steve. Thanks very much.